What's up guys, how are you? This is Jim Prisak, I'm a physical therapist here at the Pain PT. And we're gonna to talk today about these, what I call these two big R's that you want to be employing every day for your healing. And we're also gonna talk about these two little R's that are gonna keep you stuck or make your condition worse. And they're the opposite of each other. So I've kind of boiled this down into the letter R basically. And this is gonna to lead to another R, which is recovery, which is the biggest R. We wanna recover, we wanna feel good. So how do we recover from mind-body disorders, chronic pain, chronic conditions? And I'm talking a whole bunch of different types of symptoms that you can have. They're all related to your nervous system. They're all related to your brain. And the common linchpin in this, the common denominator is what? Your nervous system is in a fight or flight stress state. This is in the majority of people. And we want to get your nervous system into that rest and digest, relaxed, parasympathetic state. That is the main goal of any treatment that is happening in you. And with the work I do, that is the goal. That is the only thing we're trying to do is get your nervous system into a regulated rest and digest what we call healing state. It's called the healing state, the parasympathetic state. It does the healing for you. And that's why I keep telling you guys, you don't need to do something to heal. You need to get your nervous system in the right position and it will do the healing for you. So how do we do this? How do we move from a stressed fight or flight sympathetic state, which is your symptoms, to a non symptomatic rest and digest parasympathetic state. Well, here's the two big R's. The first one, and I've talked about this a lot, is relaxing, learning to relax. That's the very essence of a parasympathetic nervous system is feeling relaxed and starting to relax both your body by letting go of tensions and relaxing your mind, letting go of worries. Okay, so relaxing. Now, what's the opposite of relaxing? Well, this is the little R, it's resisting. The opposite of you relaxing is you resisting what's happening. You fighting against or avoiding or not wanting to feel, not wanting to deal with what's happening in your body because it's uncomfortable, it's, it doesn't feel good. So we try to resist it in some way. This can be an unconscious response. It typically is in the beginning. And then we can pile on with more conscious resistance. So what I want you to do is drop your resistance to what you feel because it's not dangerous when it comes to this. It's just electricity creating chemicals in your body. So drop your resistance to this stuff and relax into it. Relax into what you feel in your body. This is so important. Relax is a primary into what you feel, which is secondary in your body. So you're just relaxing, and by doing that, that is going to take care of the symptoms. Okay, so you're relaxing into what you feel instead of resisting what you feel. So this is number one. The second big R for getting your nervous system regulated and moving into more of that parasympathetic healing state is responding, okay? The little R, or the opposite of responding, is reacting when you're unconsciously reacting or reacting negatively to what you notice in yourself, that is gonna make it worse and it's gonna keep you in that fight or flight state. When we're responding, this is a conscious message now. Response is something that we think about, something that we say either to ourselves or to somebody else. Whereas a reaction is an unconscious impulsive reflex. Now you may get some of that in the beginning because you'll initially get that impulse of wanting to react or you'll get a small reaction. You want to put that fire of reaction out quickly with a response. So there's two responses, one to yourself and potentially one to whatever's going on. The response to yourself needs to be that it's okay what's happening in you. It's okay. It's all right. Calm down. Relax. So lead you back to relaxation. Okay, your response is going to lead you back to relaxation. These two work together, relaxation and response. When you tell yourself what's happening is okay, that you are okay, 
and that you just need to relax and get your nervous system there, that's going to bring you down out of fight or flight. Okay, so whether you have an uncomfortable pain, an uncomfortable emotion, uncomfortable thoughts, I want you to say, it's okay, it's all right. Calm down, relax. It's okay, it's all right. What's happening is okay. It's fine. It's just my nervous system being overstimulated. It's just my sympathetic nervous system overreacting. And I want to just calm down, relax, and respond. Now, if you're not responding, again, you're reacting. You're fueling the fire. You're making it worse. And people do this through ruminating, catastrophizing, worrying. Okay? So we want to drop that as quickly as we can and replace the reaction of responding. So this is an internal response, which we can say talking to yourself, talking to your brain. An external response would be an expression. So you're responding to the situation you're in or to the person you're with or to whatever might be potentially bothering you or bugging you. What is your conscious response to that? Maybe you need to express yourself and say something, get it off your chest, how you're feeling. Maybe your response is setting up a boundary, removing yourself from a situation that's, that's creating stress for you. Your response is something that you're, you're doing. Okay, it's a conscious choice. It it's all wants to be in the, in the direction of trying to reduce the stress response in yourself. So sometimes, like I said, it's expressing your feelings to somebody. Sometimes it's putting up a boundary, a healthy boundary to remove yourself. Sometimes it's making changes to a workplace or home environment that will create less stress for you. And that's your response, okay? It's a conscious choice. So you've got an internal response to yourself and you may have an external response to what's going on. Again, both those things should lead you back towards relaxation which is the essence of the parasympathetic healing state, which is the state you want to put yourself in to, to heal. When you go in that state, you're going to heal. You, you can't not heal because that is the healing state. You want to get out of this stressed, sympathetic fight or flight state. Okay, so you want to get out of resistance and reaction. We want to get into relaxation and responding. We want to get out of resistance and reaction to what's happening and get into relaxing and responding to what's happening. Okay, so take these two things, relax and respond, relax and respond, and use those to overcome your own patterns of reaction, your own patterns of resistance that are keeping this condition alive and keeping the sympathetic nervous system turned on. Let me know if you got questions, guys. This is the essence of the work that I do, boiled down into just the letter R, one letter of the alphabet, so it's not hard to remember. And again, these two big R's, <clears throat> excuse me, these two big R's of relaxing and responding are going to lead to the biggest R, which is recovery. Okay? Those two little R's of reaction and resistance are going to lead to either relapse, they're going to lead to you getting worse or feeling worse or not recovering, all right? So let's give this a practice, guys. Let's, let's work on this on a daily basis. This is a real-time practice. You're gonna have plenty of practice, we all do, including myself, uh, each day, we can be triggered. All right, take care now, bye-bye.